All right, Dinwiddie and I were uh, doing an old home site. I've been here twice and I've barely hit it. I got a Indian head penny and like a pocket watch, some suspender, button. But anyways, this is kind of a classic spot. And if you weren't paying attention, other than this little concrete well here or trough, you wouldn't even notice it, but we're in the mountains of Montana and these shade trees right here do not belong. And then of course, you have this whole field here, which if this had been logged, the trees would be coming up. And then of course the biggest giveaway, which hopefully I'm not too far away with the GoPro, but down in here, there's some big apple trees. And those apple trees are a dead giveaway that somebody used to live here, so. Anyways, this is an early 1900 site. We're gonna see what we get. Okay, this is gonna be my first dig. We're gonna do a live dig. Look at that high tone action. 29, 27, 28. Oh, wouldn't that be crazy if I got a coin right off? Of course, it's probably just the top to a screw bottle or something. Now on my luck. Holy cow, it's even in the plug. Dude, it's a coin. <laughs> Clad quarter in a 1900 site. <laughs> All right, what a relic. What do we got here? Sort of. Some sort of screw cap thingy. Huh, wonder what that's too. We could just call this the I don't know episode, maybe. Here's another one. <laughs> okay, I think I have one of my favorite things here. It's a token. Well, I think it's a token. This is so awesome. So this says, I hope I can focus it. Don't argue. Exchange six of these coupons for a five cent candy. Boom, I'm five away. So yeah, I got me a little button here. A little two hole. Nice. It's another button. This one looks like it's been plow whacked. A little four hole. Another little four hole. Looks like I got my first suspender clip. Hey, what do we got here? This looks like I've got some fabric or something still on there, maybe. Or, you know what? It's just the other piece. You can't usually see them, see them together like that very often. There you go. Awesome. What do I got here? Looks like I got just like a brass ball. If that's like top to a bedpost or maybe a cane. I don't know. Should ring up nice. Well, I got some sort of coin here. Let's see what we got. Boy. What is that? Oh. Let's drop it 300 times. Looks like an old weeby. How old is it? So I think it's 1920. Here comes Dinwiddie with all the big stuff. No, oh, that's cool. It's about the most complete journal I've ever done. Yeah, it unscrews. Got the old ladle. Even with beer. Now you ought to go take a drink out of the old drop there with that thing yeah, for old time's sake that's all right i don't think we're gonna try it out quite like that oh man what about the homestead experience <laughs> yeah i have had enough of it down there already. <laughs> that looks like i got a watch part so unfortunately that is smashed but that is a world war one or a world war ii trench lighter Oh, beautiful. This is the second one I've got. 
Dang, it smashed though. So beautiful. How cool is that? Awesome. More watch stuff. Yeah, it's amazing how many pocket watches you find at these sites and pocket watch pieces. They must have just threw them down when they quit working. All right, guys. I don't know what this is. Some sort of torture device, I guess. Yeah, someone tell me what that thing is. Weird. So it's a little pin that says Bailey. I don't know what for. I think I might have found a little boot off a toy. Where is that? <laughs> well, look at that. I got a great big uh, diaper pin or some. Maybe there was a brooch on there. It says 18. Yeah, I think what it is, they had so many babies, they just had, they didn't know their names. It was just, here's number 18. Dinwiddie's in the game. What do we got? Little Brussels. Oh. So, is that iron? I don't know. I don't have a magnet on me. Hey, you did. Huh? Oh, on my detector. Yep, it's iron. iron. <laughs> well, Dinwiddie's saying this is a uh, match holder. Boom, empty. <laughs> Too bad. It's pretty cool. It says used a striker right there. I think my buckle's bigger than Dinwiddie's. That's what I'm thinking. That's a nice big old brass buckle. That's ringing nice. Look at him come. Some sort of grin. He's saying it's a token grin. It's a token grin. First one. Don't argue. <laughs> so exchange six of these coupons for five cent candy. And same address as yours, I think. Actually, the top says don't argue. It's the same kind of token. Is it? Yeah. But it's a different shape, isn't it? Flip it back over. Was yours this shape or was it round? No, mine was uh, like, you know, like kind of octagony. Yeah. Yeah, the very top says, don't argue. Exchange six of these coupons for a five cent cat. Dude, we're, <laughs> we are only four away. I know. Wait, have you been arguing though? No, I didn't argue. It seems like you just argued <laughs> no, about well, your token Maybe just I did. It's a different shape. <laughs> <laughs> we just need the whole collection. That's awesome, it's got the dude. Address on it and everything. Nothing like a cool token. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so there's a little piece of stove. It says got some fancy right there. Bucks stove range. He thought it was a spoon. <laughs> it was a glass sitting on top. It was a piece of glass on top. It looked just like a spoon. <laughs> Dinwiddie's first harmonica read. Look at that. He got the other half. <laughs> Whoever does that. Okay, so I came back with Gunner. Dinwiddie couldn't make it. I can't believe what I got in this hole. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just standing Liberty Quarter. And I think it's a nice one. Wow, let me wash this up. I'll get back to you. Wow, I hope I'm getting that focused for you guys because that is by far the nicest Standing Liberty quarter I've ever dug. Look at this thing. You can actually see the date. Yeah, I can see the lines in the shield. Wow, I am fired up about that. Unbelievable. You know, the buttons on this site just don't seem very nice. But if you're dropping a standing Liberty Corridor and an Indian head, man, they had some money. Crazy. So here's a much earlier silver dime. But you know, people were probably here all different times. But it's pretty old, 46. Wow. 
Amazing. That's pretty rare for me to get silver at one of these. Two silvers in one day. Yeah, so these little buttons are just screaming. <laughs> it's like a 24, I think. Man. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty sure I got a little bale seal here. That's neat. Um, it does have some writing, but I'm really not making it out. 19, maybe. Anyways keep going man this is like a record for me up in the hills what do we got oh now it's a freaking barber holy cow i'm just gonna get some water it either says 1902 or 1903 look at that it's in beautiful shape Come on, focus. I can't believe the range this place has. I mean, 40s dime, 20s quarter. Now we got a 1902 barber dime, I think. Awesome. I think I got some sort of coin here. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Holy cow. A mercury dime. <laughs> All right, I got her cleaned up. Man, that's in beautiful shape. Looks like a 1927 Merc. Man, this place just keeps on giving. Unbelievable. Well, looks like I got me a 1920 Weedy. Nice brass buckle. I'm pretty over the moon about this hunt. You usually don't find much silver at these old home sites. I mean, you know, from my experience, you're more in the pennies than you are the dimes and the quarters. So to find four silver coins, a couple of tokens, wow, what an amazing hunt. As you can see, this area is huge. So it's gonna take a few more nights to you know, hunt this out if ever. I'm sure I'll come back over and over for the next few years hoping to just find something. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.